So three months ago, I bought the S23 Ultra. In many of my videos, I've talked about how much I love the device. The battery is incredible. The camera, especially the 10X zoom is really phenomenal. And my overall experience with the device has been just overall really, really good. Like I really like the phone. I've even stated multiple times how I think it's better than the iPhone 14 Pro and I haven't used it, but I think it's a little bit better than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. But I still love my iPhone and I love Apple. And for 13 years now, I've chosen the iPhone every single year. And I've been thinking a lot about what keeps me coming back to the iPhone. So with all that being said, I'm not switching to the S23 Ultra. And in today's video, I wanna explain why. The first and most obvious reason why I won't be switching is the Apple ecosystem. And I won't change it because it's not broken. It just works so well and seamlessly with all the products. Apple also makes it super easy to stay connected and productive. Features like universal control, AirPod connection amongst multiple devices, AirDrop, iCloud, FaceTime, iMessage, and Find My, they're just too good. And when using the S23 Ultra, those features were greatly missed. Kind of going in hand with the ecosystem is the fact that I can record on my iPhone. And video recording on iPhone is phenomenal. And where the ecosystem comes into play is I record all of my YouTube videos on my iPhone. I AirDrop them to my iPad where I edit them and then I upload it to YouTube. I create my thumbnails on my iPhone and I take pictures on it. And it's just the camera overall, while it's not better than the S23 Ultra, it's not much different. And video recording, in my opinion, is just better on the iPhone. And so I keep using it. The way you can just move video files or photos through AirDrop, it's unbeatable. The third reason is MagSafe. I love MagSafe. I love charging with MagSafe. I have a MagSafe wallet. A MagSafe battery pack, and I use all of Apple's MagSafe cases. Another reason I keep picking the iPhone is reliability and trust. And you might be wondering, do you not trust Samsung? And it, it's not really that. It's the fact that I've been using an iPhone for 13 years now. Like that's a lot of trust built into a company and someone buying their product. Now, Apple's had its products, especially an iPhone, that aren't perfect. Don't get me wrong but I've never experienced that with an iPhone to where it's unusable and I can't stand using it anymore. Really quick guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel and you like my videos, go ahead and click subscribe. A ton of people that watch aren't subscribed and I would really appreciate it. We're almost to 10K, which I couldn't have even imagined a year ago. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So I really like iOS and I miss its simplicity and clean design when using my S23 Ultra, especially when it comes to Apple stock apps, notes, reminders, music, mail, wallet, and the list goes on. Also, in my experience with apps like Twitter and Instagram, they just are a little bit smoother on the iPhone, not much, but it's my experience and I think it's smoother. And I know Apple doesn't have customization capabilities really like any Android phone. It's not just the S23 Ultra, but there's something about Apple slowly rolling out customization that it gives me something to look forward to every year. And I don't know, I think it's a myth out there about how iPhone you can't customize. You can customize it. Shortcuts makes it really easy. I did a full tutorial video on that if you wanna check it out, it's pretty cool. I also think it's really cool how Apple continues to receive updates even on devices that other companies would just stop updating. So that's something with iOS that I really appreciate and like. And really the last thing is customer service. It's not only really nice that I can get Apple Care on my device and if anything happens to it, I just pay $29 to fix the phone. You can do this with Samsung, but I found the setup process to be a bit annoying and a little bit ambiguous of what I was actually getting with my coverage. It's probably on my part, but I feel like Apple's just really clear with this stuff and it's really cool within iMessage to be able to talk to Apple support. And in all of my years of using Apple, I've never had a problem with the Genius Bar. I would say that's one of the best things about the iPhone and Apple in general is the fact that they have these really good stores all over and the store experience is really good. And I looked, I don't even think there's a Samsung store in my state, which is really unfortunate because I'd love to check one out.
I think the biggest takeaway from all of this is my experience with Apple over the last 13 years. It's had such a strong impression on me as a consumer that there's really no other brand quite like it for me that is able to captivate me with their keynote, with going to their store, with buying a new product, with something to look forward to. And actually it's kind of the reason why I started this channel was my love for Apple products and tech in general, but mostly Apple. I don't see a reason to switch. There's nothing I would fix with the Apple ecosystem right now. iOS 17 is right around the corner. WWDC is almost here and I'm getting really excited for it. So that's it. That's why I'm not switching to the S23 Ultra. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Let me know in the comments what's keeping you with iPhone or actually making you stay away from the iPhone. Check out my recent video on the iPhone 14 Pro versus the S23 Ultra. It's really good. Also subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna do a ton of videos with WWDC right around the corner. Thanks for watching everyone. God bless and I will see you on the next video.